Have you ever noticed how babies kick, stretch and wave their hands even when they're not reaching for anything? It turns out those little movements are helping their brains understand the world. Scientists have recently discovered something new about how the brain connects movement and touch. For a long time, researchers believed that one part of the brain, called the motor cortex, was responsible for both moving the body and processing touch during movement. But this new study found that's not the whole story. Using advanced light-based techniques to study awake mice, scientists learned that other brain areas, like the secondary sensory cortex and the thalamus, are actually more active in handling touch while the body moves. This means the brain doesn't just send commands to move, it also listens and adjusts in real time. For example, when your hand brushes against something as you reach out, these specialized brain regions instantly process that sensation and update your sense of where your body is. Why does this matter? Because it helps explain how babies and young children learn to control their bodies. Each time they move, whether it's rolling over, grasping a toy or wriggling their fingers, their brain is building stronger connections between feeling and doing. Understanding how the brain integrates touch and motion could also help scientists design better treatments for movement disorders or develop more natural feeling prosthetic limbs and robots that can feel what they touch. This research shows that our brains are far more interconnected than we thought and that even the smallest movement plays a big role in how we learn to sense and interact with the world.